Howdy from Texas. This is Heath Hipple with Bucks Fishing. Today I'm going to teach you how to tie the double bunny jig. This is one of the first two jigs that I ever came out with. Um, from a tying perspective, it's a simple pattern that will teach you some basic steps and it's really good for beginners and if you're a little bit more advanced, um, you'll be able to knock these out quickly. Um, from a fishing perspective, it's got a slim profile like a shrimp and uh, it kind of imitates a lot of different things and so let's get to it. We're going to be using the Bugs Redfish Jig Head, the original, and this is the quarter ounce size and the color is called Green Ghost. So we're going to put it in our vise and ready to roll. Alright, this is Danville 210 Denier and this is uh, Chartreuse Green. And we're going we're gonna to wrap the shank with thread. All the way, all the way down, kind of even with the uh, even with the barb, half hitch, and we'll bring it back. And I'm gonna stop it a little bit, a little bit before the head, so right there. Now. The recipe for this jig is really simple. There is a, a one and a half inch piece of Magnum Rabbit Strip on the bottom and a one and a half inch piece on the top and we're gonna glue them together after we tie them in. So we're gonna tie this in directly on top. Kinda hold it there and smooth it out and you see how I'm leaving a little tag there. My thread wraps are coming slightly back from the tip, okay? I'm gonna tie that in nice and tight. One, two, three, four. Five turn whip finish knot, and that is good to go. Okay, so, so that's pretty well straight, perpendicular with the hook shank just like it's supposed to be. Okay, so now there's a, for this one, it's the the brown, or it's olive barred chartreuse. Um, I like to use barred rabbit for the tops of these because this jig imitates a shrimp or a little bait fish on the bottom, and so I like to give it a barred or mottled look. And this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna hold it up. I'm gonna put it See, it's in line with the head right there, and I want to mark this place with my thumb because I'm going to cut about a quarter of an inch long um, slit in the rabbit. Maybe even closer to a half. And you're care you use an X-Acto knife, and you just got to be careful to get it right in the middle. And so, there you can see the cut I made, and I'll show you why it's it's long like that. So I'm going to. Pierce the hook point with it, bring it down, okay, so I want to make sure that it is, it can be straight, see right now I need to cut it further on the bottom because it needs to lay flat like that and it's not laying flat just like that. So this will only take a second. And the reason I'm doing this is because it needs to lay flat when you're going to glue, when you glue the pieces together. So, this is what I'm talking about. So, it's right here up against the head, and see how it lays flat like that? There we go, now it's ready to be tied in. Okay, so pull those hairs back, and just like before, those first 
sets of thread wraps are coming, they're not at the very end of the rabbit strip. So you're right there, they're a little bit back. I'm gonna do a five turn whip finish again. Two, three, four, five. Okay, now, if I remember when we tied the curl tail jig, we leave this, that little tag right there uh, for the flash, and we're gonna use it for the same thing here, but before we do that, we're gonna glue these two pieces of rabbit together. We're gonna be using Tear Mender. It's a fabric and leather glue, and it works really well here because we're actually gluing the hide we're gluing the hide, uh, which is leather. So we're gluing two pieces of leather together. And so you can't use, you know, your normal glue with that. And so you use tear mender. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna open this up and I'm gonna put a little, I'm gonna put a little bit on the bottom, the, the bottom of my vise. And I'm gonna get a little bit on my finger. So there we go. And I'm gonna put it on this, on the white piece. And I'm gonna do it in the middle not on, avoid the hairs here, okay? Now the trick here is to, you want the rabbit to be to be straight, right in line with this green part. Let, you want the bottom, when they're glued together, you want them to be in line. And so I'm gonna start here at the bottom, and then I'm gonna push them together with my fingers. And if you start them there correctly, and you bring it out like this, you will get the desired. It won't, it won't, uh, you know, point one way or another. It'll just be straight. So there it is, and you push your fingers together, so that glue will set, and that'll keep it together, and you have the profile that you're looking for. Now it's time to put the flash on, and I'm going to use three pieces of UV pearl and three pieces of just normal pearl. All right, so I laid the flash there to where it's in line between the two, the top and the bottom piece of rabbit. And I'm gonna put a half hitch there. Okay, now, a little tag, I'm gonna use, you can see right here, there you go. The tag is gonna hold the ends of the flash. And it's gonna help me guide it around to this side. And same thing, I'm gonna start putting some thread wraps there and I'm with my left fingers here, I'm, hold, I'm pulling them in the direction that they need to go. And as I move the thread that way, that's where they'll stay, okay? So now, I'm gonna put a Seven turn. Whip finish there, so that's not going anywhere. Pull tight, okay. And now, just to make it pretty, I'm gonna I'm gonna cover up the tag and the ends of that crystal flash with thread, and put another little four turn in there. All right, we are good there. Okay, before I go any further, I'm gonna trim the ends of this, the other side of this crystal flash, kind of right in line with the, the rabbit. Okay, so now we're gonna do a weed guard. Okay, 30 pound mason. So you can kind of eyeball it and double it. We're gonna use two pieces. So cut your piece, double it right there and then cut it in the middle. Then wrap thread here, up and down. All right, 
Now, when you're securing, when you're starting to secure the two weed guard pieces, you put them together, hold them like this. Get a little closer here so you can see. Hold them like this, and I'm going to make. I'm going to make four wraps right here. And doing that will allow me to kind of let go of it, kind of pull it in the direction that it needs to go, get it right there on top. It'll hold it together. And I'm going to start wrapping. And now I'm going to switch to my right hand. So it's in the general direction I want it to go and start making some little bit heavier thread wraps and if it if it wants to kind of move see there you go right in the middle don't worry about them crossing like that we will we'll fix that in a minute but whoops okay there we go Half hitch there. Okay, so I'm gonna three turn there at the bottom. I'm gonna do one in the middle and then one in the middle and then one on the bottom and then those will be secured. So those aren't going anywhere and I'm going to bring the thread up close to the eye and then we're going to move it in the vise. Okay. okay so that's I'm going to trim those before I go any further and now just like the curl tail I'm going to pull them down with my thumb and I'm going to make a bunch of thread wraps right here to, and build up the thread so it'll hold them in place. Or I should say hold them in place. I want them pointing a little bit above the hook point. I'm going to do a half hitch right there, kind of hold what I got. Okay. So it shouldn't take too many more. Okay. I'm gonna make sure they're kind of going in the right direction here. Yep. Do a half hitch. I mean, a, that's a whip finish knot. And then I'm gonna get up here. I'm gonna kind of separate them. So, okay. Get a little bit further. All right, we're good here. Like I said, don't worry if they're crossed a little bit; they'll still do the job. Now I'm gonna make my cut right there and use hard as hull head cement on the thread wraps right here. right here so here is a completed double bunny jig really simple really effective great imitation of a shrimp or a little bottom hugging bait fish Heath again here. Congratulations on tying the double bunny jig. Um, let's talk about how to fish it. Uh, when fish are chasing shrimp, this is a good jig to throw. Um, when birds are working over shrimp in deeper water, you want to throw the bigger ones, the quarter, the three-eighths ounce. Um, and in shallow water, um, when you see birds working, you'll throw the lighter, the quarter, and the eighth. And then when you're fishing in the marsh and you know reds are chasing shrimp up near the grass, the lighter ones, uh, work best and here, here's how it acts in the water the jig head means it'll always land hook point up 
and it's got a weed guard here that'll help it shed grass. Um, and so if you can cast in front of a red that you know is cruising down a grass line chasing shrimp, um, it'll always land, like I said, hook point up, um, bump it along the bottom or twitch it as he gets close. Um, and then in more open water, deeper water, it'll just dive. And so when you're fishing there, always let it sink. Um, and then give it some pretty good twitches and the short profile and that action um, will help you get strikes. Catch you later.